Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with the topic on test automation obstacles, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called the pop-up windows. So it's a pretty easy obstacle if you know how to uh, solve this particular problem. Uh, what we need to do is uh, we, in order to complete this obstacle, we need to click on this button. Okay, which is called the click me. And what it will do, it will open another window or a window pop up. Uh, and what we need to do, we need to close this particular window to complete this obstacle. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how we can uh, solve this particular obstacle in Tosca. Okay. So uh, going back to Tosca and here as usual, we will go to our obstacles folder and then we are going to scan this particular application. Now here I need to just uh, add this particular control, which is the click me button. Now you will think that I might need to also scan the particular window which is opening up but it's not the case okay so these pop-up windows can be handled using a standard automation t-box module and uh, it is part of the windows operations okay so when we add this windows operation module i will show you how we can uh, handle this particular window or maybe close it um, using this standard module which is already present in tosca so we don't need to scan this particular window again, okay? So I'm going to save this and I'm going to close this. I will just rename the module now. Okay, and then uh, we will create a new test case here. And then I am going to add the respective module to this particular test case, okay? So the first step is obviously to click on the button. So that's pretty simple. Uh, we need to use the click operation for that. And after this, um, let's rename this particular test step to click button, okay? And after this, the window will open and then we need to close that particular pop-up window, right? And as I said, we can use one of the standard modules. Okay, so we'll go to modules, standard modules, and then under T-Box automation tools, okay, we have got the basic window operations. Inside this, we'll be using the T-Box window operation. Okay, so uh, let's go here into the obstacle and I'm going to add this particular module here. Now, uh, as you know, uh, this T-Box window operation has got lots of different operations which you can perform on the window, right? So you can see, you can minimize, maximize, close, um, wait, resize, move to center. So all types of operations can be performed on a window-based uh, pop-up or just a window, okay? Now, the only thing which we need to provide is the caption so that it can find the right window on which it can perform that particular operation, okay? And that can be done. So when we click here, it opens up this window. And here you can see, this is probably the window title, right? So tricentis at tricentis slash X, all right? So I cannot take the starting part of uh, this particular title, which is tricentis, because then my other window has also got tricentis, right? But what I can do is I can use this um, X username, which is at Tricentis. Uh, this uh, would be unique and rest of it can be handled using the regular expression, okay? So that's what I'm going to do here. In the caption, I'm going to start with the regular expression and then uh, at Tricentis and again, a regular expression, okay? So this will uh, be static at Tricentis, but the remaining part can be dynamic. Uh, it could be anything. Uh, it will still be able to uh, find this particular window using this particular title, okay? Now coming to different operations, as I said, we can perform different operations on the window. Now we can directly go ahead and close it, 
but sometimes uh, if the window takes a little bit of time to appear then your uh, test case may fail right because uh, your task automation will not wait it will directly go and uh, search for the window and try to close it but if it is not present then the test case might fail so in these type of scenarios it is best to have a wait uh, so we can use this wait on open right so this operation what it will do it will wait till this particular uh, window is open right and then it is ready uh, where we can perform some action on it right so in the next operation on the same test step, uh, we can perform a next uh, operation, which is the close window, right? So this will basically close that particular window. Okay, so we are using two operations and then we are passing on the caption here in the T-box window operation, okay? I am going to call this close pop-up, right? And then uh, we come here, we change the work state to completed. And finally, we are ready to execute the test case, okay? So let me close all this, okay? And uh, get it back to the initial state. And now I can go ahead and execute this, right? Okay, so as you can see, uh, it was able to perform both the steps, which is clicking on the button and then closing the window pop-up, right? Using the two operations. And uh, this completed the obstacle, right? So this way you can handle your window pop-ups. You can perform a lot of different operations using the standard Windows module. So it's pretty easy if you know what to use uh, in, uh, in a specific scenario. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.